What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of KM Videos Live Streams. Today, I don't have a story for you. I want to talk about gang names. How we get them, where they come from, and how they're handed down. I never stopped, I never stopped banging, I, I started banging hard, then I got so hard, till it was a shame. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of KM Video, True, 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 True Stories. Now, I didn't really want to talk about the gang names, right? But this is one of the most asked questions since I've been on YouTube. It's how do we get our names? How do you get little, baby, tiny, etc.? And this is so elementary to me. Like, this is a question that never needs to be asked. I don't know individuals' backgrounds that watch game videos. I don't know the backgrounds of these people asking these questions. And I know the core of my audience don't want to hear it. They already know about it. They'll make fun of it and think it's funny. So for the core of my audience, you guys can tune out right now. This is not for you. For those that's asking such a simple question, I'm going to answer it for you, not only because you asked, but because so many of you have asked. The best way I can explain how we get our gang names is just like being a parent. Let's use George Foreman, for example. There's George Jr., George the Third, George the Fourth, Fifth, you know what I'm saying, Little George, Baby George. It's the same shit. It's the same thing. You got Big Kev Mac, then you got Lil Kev Mac and Baby Kev. It's that damn simple. How do they get those names? The, the, the most sought out way to get a name is whoever creates the name, whoever has that name, you're the big. Now, how you hand out the name is normally, usually, somebody you like. Somebody you like or you feel like they remind you of yourself, maybe their attitude, maybe the way they look, maybe the way they dress. And you feel like that person would carry the name well. This person will put on for the name and carry the legacy on. That's how that works. There's other examples, there's isolated incidents where a person may look up to somebody and be like, cuz, or blood, I want to be named after you. So that person shows admiration for their bigger homie. The person lets them get the name and carry the name. And then the same goes forward. The big homie may get a baby or the little homie may get a baby. There's, there's no set rule of who hands you that name as long as they're in that family of names. Now, within the gang, you got crazy names. You got gangster names, player names, nicknames. Some people use real names or shorten their real names. You have black exploitation movies. Now, let me break down the crazy names first. Loco. You could be Loco. You could be Loca for a female. It could be local bam, local coop, et cetera, et cetera. Then you have insane, Waco, Looney. Crazy is just like loco. You could be crazy coop, crazy boy, or you could just be crazy. Scatterbrain, kooky, nutty, nut, short for nutty, mad, psycho, lunatic, Screwy, let loose, maniac, names like that that all mean crazy or synonymous with crazy. Because a lot of gangsters want to be known as crazy, right? You have black exploitation movies. Let's say uh, Sweet Bat, Charleston Blue, names like that. You have 
the nicknames that came from your parents or your family that you may take off into the street. You may get a name by somebody joking, like you fell out of a car and you broke your wrist or something. You might be Mr. Wrist, or, you know what I'm saying? You might be dead arm or one arm or dead eye because your eye is sleepy or you only got one working eye. You know, stuff like that. Player names would be like Mac. You know, anybody with a Mac in their name. Um, your name might be player. You know, very simple. It, it, it's just simple to explain. Gangster names from movie would be like Al Capone, Scarface. So now you Capone, Ben Capone, Jay Capone. You know what I mean? Um, Devil, uh, Elliot Ness. You know, the names that come from the gangster movies. And so, Back to what I was originally saying. So now, you have Big Kev Mac. Then you get Little Kev Mac. That would be the second guy in the, in the name of that family, that branch. Then there's Baby Kev Mac. Then there's Tiny Kev Mac. Infant Kev Mac. This is for South Los Angeles. When you start going off into Compton, you, you, you get a different terminology. So now you're talking about a baby gangster or, you know, a, a OTG or, you know, it starts to change. I can't even get into how the Compton names go, but different generations are going to go by different names. And Watts, the grapes got the baby locs, you know. Uh, in the Pyrus, you got YGs. Got the young gangsters or whatever. Uh, so that shit changes. But remember, I'm going to stick to South LA. I'm going to only give you the answers that I can give you, which are what I just explained. That's basically how it goes. Now, you may get some new kids that's embryo or mixing two different names because they like this homie and they like that homie or they want their name to be super hard or super weird. So they combine names. You know, I told a story one time. I don't remember the name, so I'm going to make some shit up. But me and the homie Roscoe, we went to Penny Pinchers. It's a store in the hood. And about eight homies up in there. Cut we up from, cut we up from. And Roscoe asked one of the dudes, Cut, what's your name? And he starts spitting out something. Remember, I'm going to make it up. He was like, Nigga, I'm baby insane, Waco, loco, loony, cuz. And we looked at each other, man, we fell out laughing. And he was, the homie was offended. He like, what's so funny, cuz? Like, damn, nigga, pick a name. Roscoe told him, pick a name. And I'm just laughing my ass off. Of course, I'm the light-skinned, skinny homie. So the little homie look at me. Cuz, what they call you? I tell him what they call me. Oh, yeah, cuz. Yeah, cuz. I, I, I know the Kid Max, the Shiny Max, the Peanuts, you know. That's another thing. When you have a name, your name kind of is a telltale story about the hood. Because usually you can tell which section of the hood that name comes from. But it's not always written in stone that everybody comes from the same section. But now you have like a tracer. Because now you can trace the name. Like, oh, I know Big Donut, I know Little Donut. Okay, so you Baby Donut, all right. You, you, you legit, be, or you possibly legit because I know those homies, those names are good in the hood. Uh, so you can kind of tell what type of lineage they belong to. The negative part about the names is this. If, if a Little Care Mac or a Baby Care Mac only goes by Care Mac or is only known as Care Mac when they catch a case or they rob somebody in the hood or from another hood, it automatically goes back to the big, the originator of the name. They always think it's him. So if, if one guy is smoking, they'll think one of the other guys is smoking. If you rob somebody, they'll think one of the other guys robbed them. Same with the police. The police looking for a murder or a robbery suspect, and they're thinking 
it's this guy when it's really not. Another bad thing is when a guy becomes a rat. It doesn't matter if he's big, little, baby, or tiny. Everybody's looking at that family of names to see what they're going to do and how they're going to perceive their homie, their little homie, baby homie, or big homie. To see if this guy's going to throw him under the bus, disown him, discipline him, or accept him. So a lot of times, a homie will get a call about his little homie, his big homie, his baby homie, or, or whatever. Big, little, or baby, tiny, whatever. You'll get phone calls like, cuz, what's up with your big homie? Or cuz, what's up with your little homie? You know what I'm saying? Cuz, what's up with baby care? So you start getting all these calls and people are trying to get intel and check your temperature to see your rationale or your disdain for one of the homies. Another thing is your name can sometimes become associated with another family of names because of the closeness. The closeness, the similarities, or once again, the section of the hood in which those names are based in. Once you build up a reputation, or lack of, but normally if you build up a cool reputation or a tough reputation, and some enemies hit you up when you go through the county jail or you find yourself in a funk, and they ask where you're from and what they call you, and you bang your name on them, Again, depending on your reputation, oh, okay, he's cool. Or, oh, no, he one of them. He one of them niggas. All right, respect, homie. They might start calling you big homie, and they from a rival hood. Okay, big homie. Yeah, I heard of you. Yeah, yeah, I respect the name. My homies told me about you. That's when you know you the shit reputation-wise, whether it was in YA, the streets, or penitentiary or county jail. So sometimes your name can help you when you're in a bad situation. But when you're amongst your own homies, if your name ain't known or your name ain't no good, now you're in trouble. Nigga, I ain't never heard of you. Nigga, what part of the hood you from? Who you fuck with? You, you know you got a problem. Or nigga, didn't you tell on such and such? That's an issue. That's it for the names, how they come about, where they come from, stuff like that. Uh, so hopefully this answers some of your questions. Hope it didn't make more questions than they provided answers. Be sure to hit the like button, especially if you wanted to know some of this information. Leave a comment, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm out of here, y'all. Salute.